Praise God. Thank you so much for watching today. Welcome to this broadcast, The Love Encounter. Thank you so much for connecting with us. Those of you that are listening and those of you that are watching, God bless you today. Praise God. I want to encourage you to send your prayer requests uh, uh, to us. We want to pray with you. We want to stand with you in prayer and uh, send us testimonies. I want to encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel and share all these messages uh, to the people that need to hear the word of God. The whole world is in need of the word of God. So I encourage you to participate and help us share uh, the message uh, to so many people around you. Praise God. Amen. So after this uh, broadcast, we will have... Uh, all the information on the screen, the phone numbers, and uh, the email addresses. Write to us and send us your prayer requests and call us. We are here. We want to stand with you in any way we can. Just let us know how can we help you, how can we stand with you, how can we pray with you. And please remember to share testimonies with us. I know that God is healing people. Miracles are happening in people's lives. We want to hear what God is doing in your life so that we can praise God with you but also we want to share that testimony with others so that people can be encouraged praise the Lord so let's go in in today's message I want to talk to you about meditation today I want to talk to you about meditation meditation is something that people have not understood meditation has so 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 much power Power to connect with what God has done for you. To connect with what God has said. To connect with what God has prepared for you in the realm of the spirit. And meditation is something that the church has left out. But yet so powerful. So powerful. And through meditation you are able to see quick results and quick answers to prayer. Praise the Lord. Let us go to Psalm, Psalms, Psalms, Psalms 19, sorry. Psalms 19, verse 14. Psalms 19, verse 14, the Bible says, Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord my strength, and my redeemer. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. The words of my mouth, the meditation of my heart, be acceptable before you, O God. The words, your speech, has to be acceptable and pleasing to God. Your meditation has to be acceptable and pleasing to God. There is a kind of speech and a kind of meditation that is acceptable, that is pleasing. There, there, there is also speech and meditation that is not acceptable, neither pleasing to God. Anyone can meditate. Everyone meditates. There is a negative meditation, and there is a meditation in the Word of God that is acceptable and pleasing to God. But what I want to start with is to make you understand or help you understand because so many people ask and say, how do you meditate? And how can I meditate? And, and, and uh, to some people, it looks like meditation is complicated. But it's not complicated. Meditation is very easy. Because every person meditates. You're either meditating on the word of God or you're meditating on negativity. For example, if you... If you, if you get offended by somebody, someone says a bad word to you, and you get offended, 
and 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 you go back home you drive back home thinking about that person and what that person has said to you that made you get offended that is meditation you are actually meditating on the words of man what that person has said you begin to think about it and sometimes you get back home very upset very angry bitter why because you have been meditating on what someone has said that is meditation that is meditation if you look into your account you check your account and there's no money you you have no money in your account and then you you go back and look at all the bills you have to pay and you begin to think how am i going to fix this problem I have no money in my account you can actually see the figures in your account and you can see the figures on your bill on your bills that is meditation you're thinking about it how can i fix this problem that is meditation you're thinking about it you're pondering you you are imagining that is meditation now when you go in the word of god and you read the word of god and the bible says to you i'll bless your water and your bread and I'll take sickness away from you and you actually think about it and you think about your water being blessed and you think about your food being blessed and you think about how god blesses you and he turns off sickness and you and you think about it and you meditate about it that is meditation you are meditating on the word of God and that is the meditation that pleases God because you are meditating on the word of God you are thinking about the word of God you are imagining God blessing your water you are imagining God blessing your food you are imagining God taking away sickness from your house that is the meditation meditating on the word of God imagining using your 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 sanctified imagination meditating on what god can do meditating on what god has said meditating on what god has done for you that is the meditation that is pleasing to god that is the meditation that is acceptable before god and then when you come to your speech the words you say the words you say must also be acceptable before god they have to be pleasing to god the confession of your mouth what you say are you confessing the word of god or you confessing your feelings you know some people walk around saying oh my, my feet hurt and my feet are going to kill me that, that is that is a confession that is a confession you're confessing your 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 feet heart and and they're going to kill you they're going to kill me today you have confessed it and that kind of confession according to david's prayer is not pleasing before god and it is not acceptable before god i'm dying i'm dying i'm dying you are confessing what you feel you are confessing based on how you feel but the word of god tells us to confess what god has said to confess what we have believed in the word of god and so that is the confession that is acceptable and that is the confession that is pleasing before god praise the lord so there is a confession that is not acceptable there is a confession that is acceptable there is a meditation that is not acceptable there is a meditation that is acceptable so how do we speak and think in a way that is pleasing to god or before god because this is the only way man can experience This is the only way man can experience visible and tangible results. Meditation is the only way man can experience visible and tangible results. Let me let me take you to Joshua. 
Joshua chapter 1, verse 8, the Bible says, This book of the law shall not depart from thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, day and night, that thou may observe to do according to all that is written therein, for then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. So this is the way, the only way we can see prosperity, and the only way we can have success is through meditation. Quick results. Quick results. The Baba has said, when you meditate on the word of God, you will make your way prosperous. You will have good success. So now, if this is what brings, what makes us prosperous, if this is what makes us see good success, we need to think about it and we need to begin to think about how do we practice this? How do we do it? In order to see the results that meditation can bring. We need to think about it. We need to talk about it. How can we begin to learn or how can we practice this so that we can see ourselves prosper and, and see good success in our walk with God? How can we prosper and see success in our life with God through meditation? Praise God. So how do we speak? How do we think in a way that is pleasing before God? Let's go to Hebrews 11. Hebrews 11 teaches us how to live a life that is pleasing and acceptable before God. Hebrews 11 verse 5 and verse 6. By faith Enoch was translated that he should not see death and was not found because God had translated him. For before his translation he had this testimony. That he pleased God. Enoch had this testimony before he was translated that he pleased God. I'm answering a question. How can we think and speak in a way that pleases God? How can we think? How can we meditate? And how can we speak? In a way that pleases God. Because when we please God. We are able to experience those quick results. Our prayer must be pleasing. Our preaching must be pleasing. Praise God. Everything that we do. In our walk with God must be pleasing. So how can we please God? So Enoch had this testimony. That he pleased God. Verse 6 says, But without faith, it is impossible to please him. Without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that comes to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. So now David prays and says, let my words, the words of my mouth and my meditation, let my words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. In other words, be pleasing, be acceptable in the sight of God. My words, the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing before your sight, O God. So how can we find ourselves in a place where we are acceptable before God and pleasing before God? So the Bible says, without faith, 
It is impossible to please God. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. Now, how can the words of your mouth and the meditation of your heart please God unless they are full of faith? How can the meditation of your heart and the words of your mouth be acceptable before God unless they are full of faith? So your meditation must be full of faith. Your speech must be full of faith. Your meditation must be full of faith. Your speech must be full of faith. Your meditation must be full of faith. And your thinking must be full of faith. Because it is impossible to please God without faith. Whatever you do with and for God must be full of faith. Whatever you do for God, whatever you do with God must be full of faith because it is impossible to please God without faith. So your speech, your meditation must be full of faith. Your preaching must be full of faith. Your, your service in order to please God must be full of faith. Your giving in order to please God must be full of faith. Your prayer must be full, be full of faith. That's what the Bible says. The, the prayer of faith shall heal the sick. The prayer of faith shall heal the sick. Your prayer must be full of faith in order to heal the sick, in order to bring results. Your prayer must be full of faith. Praise God. Your worship, your worship must be full of faith. Romans 12 verse 1 says, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, wholly acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Your worship has to be full of faith. Your life and time must be Pleasing to God. But your life and your time cannot please God if it is not full of faith. If, if it is found lacking in faith, it cannot. If your life and your time is found lacking in faith, it can't please God. It cannot please God. Your time and your life, if they are found lacking in faith, they cannot please God. God will never do anything with man. God will never do any spiritual transaction with man if his life is void of faith. God will never do any spiritual transaction with man whose life is void of faith. Let me take you to Genesis 15. Genesis 15, verse 5 and verse 6. The Bible talks about Abraham. Abraham believed, and it was credit, credited to him for righteousness. And he brought him forth abroad and said, Look now toward heaven and tell the stars, if thou be able to number them. And he said unto him, So shall thy seed be. Verse 6 says, And he believed in the Lord, and he counted it to him for righteousness. So now this shows us that God will never do any spiritual transaction with man whose life is void of faith. 
The Bible says that when God spoke to Abraham and Abraham believed, the Bible says, by faith, when he believed, it was credited on his account for righteousness. In other words, righteousness was credited on his account. Righteousness, righteousness was credited on his account. Now, I'm out of time. I'm going to continue from here tomorrow. I'm talking about meditation. I'm going very slow so that you can really understand how to do this. Meditation must be full of faith. Your thinking must be full of faith. Your words must be full of faith. Now, what you speak reflects what you meditate upon. What you speak reflects what you meditate upon. Now, according to what we've seen in uh, Genesis 15, man, God will never do any spiritual transaction with man whose, whose faith or whose, sorry, whose life is void of faith. Your life must be full of faith. Your meditation must be full of faith. Your words must be full of faith. It's only by faith that we please God. It's only by faith that we please God. Praise the Lord. So I'll continue from here tomorrow. I want to pray with you. If you are sick today, if you are finding any difficult in your body, in your life, I want to stand with you and, and pray with you. But before we close this broadcast, uh, tune in tomorrow. I'll be, going fr uh, I'll be going ahead, beginning from where we ended, to uh, talk uh, more about this subject of meditation. But before I end and before I pray with you, I want to encourage you to start meditating on the word of God. Don't meditate on what the devil is saying and what people are saying, but meditate on the word of God. And your meditation must be full of faith. Your words must be full of faith. That is how we see quick results. When you please God, you see quick results. Touch where you feel the pain. Right now I'm going to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I speak healing into your physical body right now. In Jesus' name. Be healed. Be set. Be set free. I command every disease to leave, every tumor to leave, every sickness, every pain to leave your body in Jesus' name. Amen. I speak to your finances to be blessed. I speak to your workplace, your job to be blessed. I speak transformation at your workplace in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for what you're doing right now. Thank you for this anointing in Jesus' name. Amen. If you haven't accepted Christ as your Lord and Savior, I want to encourage you to believe him today. The things I am explaining and teaching can only be done by someone that has believed in Jesus Christ. They can only be experienced by someone that has accepted Christ as his Lord and Savior. Therefore, I want to lead you in this prayer. Pray with me. Say, Lord Jesus, I come to you right now. I believe with my heart. I confess with my mouth that you are my Lord and my Savior. Thank you for dying on the cross for me. I receive you now. And from this day, I begin walking and enjoying your finished work. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you so much. Thank you for watching today. God bless you. And see you tomorrow.